testing. Now, can you hear me? Mm. Oh, so warm, right? Holy Spirit is here. Why don't we greet each other? Okay, God loves you. God bless you. Yeah. Elder Billy. Elder Billy. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, just uh, thank you for all of us here today, Father. Um, there's a few newcomers here, Father. Just uh, thank you for bringing them to our church. Just uh, bless this time we're about to have. And just be with Pastor John as he gives this message, Father. Uh, and pray that you just bless our the, the lunch lunch and uh, potluck we're about to have, just to share the many different foods that we brought, Father. Just bless our uh, fellowship and uh, and uh, the meeting here today, Father. And, uh, and pray that uh, you just be with us uh, during the message, Father. Help us to just be able to focus on his uh, on uh, Pastor John's message. Thank you and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today's uh, Bible scripture is uh, John chapter chapter eleven. No, John eleven. Yeah, chapter eleven, eleven verse thirty nine through forty. John chapter eleven, verse thirty nine through forty four. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. But Martha, the dead man's sister, protested, Lord, he has been dead for four days. The smell will be terrible. Jesus responded, Did I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus looked up to, to heaven and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all, those, all these people standing here, so that they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, and his hands and feet bound in grave clothes. His uh, face wrapped in a uh, head cloth. Jesus told, Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. Amen. 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 Thank you. Okay, uh, we're in John chapter 11, the beginning of this chapter, the Nazareth was a friend of Jesus, and then Nazareth's sisters, Martha and Mary, sent a messenger to Jesus and asked him to come over. But notice verse uh, 2. This is the Mary who later poured the expensive perfume on the Lord's feet and wiped them with her hair. Her brother, Nazareth, was sick. So the two sisters sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. And verse 4, But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God, so that the Son of God will receive glory from this. So, although Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, He stayed where He was for the next two days. So He delayed the time. He didn't go immediately. And then, after two days later, verse 7, finally He said to His disciples, Let's go back to Judea. And then, after that, he was dealing with his disciples. So actually, this chapter is an uh, emphasis on faith. What is true faith? Okay? He already gave Martha and Mary a message in verse 4. As soon as he heard that, Nazareth is sick. 
he's dying. But Jesus said, don't worry. Okay? He's not sick. Well, obviously he's sick. He's dying. But he will not end in death. Okay? Meaning that I am going to raise him up. He already sent a message to Martha and Mary. So, he's emphasizing the faith. He's trying to bring their attention on the present, not the future. So, let's take a look how they responded to Jesus. So, verse 17, when Jesus arrived at Bethany, he was told that Lazarus had already been in his grave for four days. Because it's about Bethany uh, to, where, where was it? He was in, <coughs> I think it's, he lived in, uh, he's a little bit away from Jerusalem. Anyway, where he was, uh, the place from Bethany is about 20 miles. So usually, uh, they travel average 10 miles a day because there was no transportation in his time. They had to walk. So 10 miles a day is the average travel distance. So 20 miles. If he hurried and when he went to Bethany, then maybe could have been two days. But he delayed two days. So it's been already four days. So when Jesus got there, that Lazarus was already in the grave. That's what it happened in verse 17. And, okay, and notice verse 21. How did Martha respond to Jesus? Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. See? He's, she's indirectly just blaming. Why didn't come right away when I send the messenger to you? But she couldn't say that. But obviously, the way she responded to Jesus, if you were here earlier, then my brother would not have died. But in reality, he's already dead. He's already in the grave. But... Even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. What kind of response is this? Martha doubted and then he said, Oh, I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Meaning that she has a faith. But what kind of faith is she having here in this chapter? See, now Jesus is dealing with Martha. Jesus actually is helping her to just affirm her faith here. Verse 23, your brother will rise again. And notice verse 24. Yes, Martha said, he will rise when everyone else rise at the last day. Jesus is talking about present time trying to bring her attention on the presence. Just like Romans 6, 4. Okay, we crucified with Jesus Christ. And then, Jesus was raised from the dead by the power of God. So that we may live new lives. That's the power of God. But, She's talking about the future. I know at the last day, yeah, we all will arise. I know that, Jesus. You don't have to mention. But Jesus is talking about right now. I'm going to raise him up. I already gave you a message four days ago. Don't worry. His death is not end. Okay? But Martha said, last day when everyone else rise. So what kind of faith is this? 